Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Karina. And, and we're, we're USA, USA for, for Nika. Nika. So this has been a pretty incredible week for us. Uh, it all started off when we uh, decided to challenge the Midwest to the SOS Nicaragua challenge. And it was just incredible to wake up the next morning and see how many shares there were, how many views, and how many people are getting the message that we're trying to get out there. So uh, Karina, can you tell them a little bit more of uh, what's happening? We started the post on Sunday, and that was motivated because as you can see, I'm a physician. And on Friday was when the dictatorship turned its fury against physicians that were helping the injured that were protesting um, during this uh, struggle against the Ortega dictatorship. So um, I spoke to Mike and I said, I really feel like we need to do something. So we started this uh, challenge of hashtag SOS Nicaragua. And we did it on, we, we filmed Mike's uh, on Sunday. Um, by Monday afternoon, we had over 100,000 views. It was the craziest thing ever because I literally would look at my phone and I would text her and be like, Karina, we have 25,000 views. Can you believe this? I mean, I've had views before. I think the most views I've ever had have been like 1,000 on anything. So I'm like, this is crazy. There's like 25,000 views. Wait, there's 27,000 views. Wait, wait, there's 29,000 views. And it kept going up. By the end of the day, it was over 100,000 views. I've never seen anything like that before. Thank you so much for everyone that has shared and for everyone that has accepted the challenge because every single time that you share that and you accept the challenge and post and challenge someone else it's motivating the people of Nicaragua to keep up their struggle against this dictatorship and they're actually seeing our posts aren't they they are and we're getting messages like i i was not very active in social media i didn't really have any many friends <laughs> yeah this is true <laughs> and i have so many friend requests i i'm like i don't know what to do and I'm trying to get back to everyone because I want it I want everybody to know how much we appreciate everyone's efforts and everybody's um, just desire to help Nicaragua I completely agree so for those of you that email message me I promise I will get back to you it's just been I again we've never seen this much social media um, attention. attention ever I told Karina it's like if people are gonna listen to our message then I think that it is our duty to actually try to spread that message yes so we're going to continue to translate different videos that are being posted um, through the different social media platforms. And, and for those of you that are new, I just want to let you know that what, the reason we started this is because I know a lot of people in America don't speak Spanish and those people would be very interested in Nicaragua and the things that are going on there as far as a country trying to force out a brutal dictatorship. They're trying to do it without having to, re um, to resort to violence. And so I think it's just a beautiful effort of a, of a, of a nation of people coming together to, in solidarity to make their country better. We're behind that 100%. Today is we're going to take a look at a video that really caught Karina's attention. And Karina, can you tell them what we're about to see? I mentioned before the impetus to this, my activism, I guess, is, uh, or my more vocal activism, was that um, the Ministry of Health on Friday, this past Friday, um, had a massive firing of uh, physicians, and not just physicians, nurses, medical staff, including surgical techs, anybody in the medical field that was identified as either um, supporting the protests or helping those that were injured during this protest. There's been reports of people being persecuted um, imprisoned. Many doctors have felt the need to actually leave Nicaragua because of the severe persecution. You know, that, that's a word right there that I really want to put out there. What is persecution? Can you tell them what is going on down there? How are they being persecuted? It's actually quite extreme. You have images of where families, they invade their homes in the middle of the night and kidnap them. They kidnap them. It's not that they're not being, they're not, it's not even being arrested. They just get kidnapped. Um, and taken to like some people are taken to jail some people are they don't know where they're being taken and the families have no idea where these people are being taken so uh, the video that I want to interpret to my people here in the United States is um, a video of the march that was uh, that happened yesterday it was a march in support of the 
physicians and the medical staff that has been victims of this Ortega dictatorship. The people that have been fired and arrested are now marching. Well, no, it, those, those people are arrested and fired. For us to understand in the United States, our county hospitals, um, if though all those physicians were to be fired, um, the private institutions are, those private hospitals are still running, um, but those county hospitals that serve our, you know, our poorest populations, the most, our population that is most in need, um, if those physicians that work there and those nursing staff and the medical staff in those facilities were fired. Okay. All right. So why don't we take a look at the video? So now it looks like what is this? Like news coverage it's, for the march? So it's it's news coverage of the march in uh, in Managua, in on the Carretera to Masaya, which is the main um, would be highway to Masaya. Wait a second. We've been there. Yes, Masaya. Yeah, I've been on the, so it's, the road to it's Messiah. Pretty, it's, um, I think um, it's uh, the reason why they choose that road is because it's just a major, major um, road. And also it goes to Masaya, which is a, a city in Nicaragua that has been devastated by the oppression of this dictatorship. Um, and what they're explaining is that um, people from different hospitals in the private settings are all are all marching in support of these physicians and medical staff that um, have been fired or have been arrested. Here there's no good, there's no bad. The doc the job of a doctor is to heal, not to judge. And at the bottom in the capital letters it reads, we are not criminals. In the background, you can hear the chant, and one of the chants is, um, we are specialists, not terrorists. Because pretty much if you are um, identified as a doctor that helped um, the people that had been injured in the protests, you're now a terrorist. These physicians are pleading to go back to work. Because you have to understand that Nicaragua is a very poor country. They have very few doctors that are helping, that, that, the, that they have to help these communities. So when you fire the majority of the staff, that makes leaves these patients without doctors to take care of them. And, and there's only six million people in the entire country. Yeah. I mean, we live in a county of 19 million people. Yeah. There's six million people in their entire country. So even though the numbers seem few, but for a staff of a hospital to be fired for that region of the country, it's devastating. Is it fair enough to say that Ortega's not getting his way, so everybody's gonna suffer? I, I, Is that what's going on? I don't think that's very far-fetched. I think that's it's actually quite accurate. You have a government that doesn't allow their doctors to treat the community. It's Could just, you imagine that, Americans? Imagine if our government said, okay, doctors, you're not allowed to treat the patients anymore. And you've got like a broken arm or something. Like, no, I got to go see the doctor. You have cancer and you can't go see a doctor. Well, an oncologist. I mean, because you don't have the oncologist there on staff anymore because he's been fired because he had to, he or she had decided to go help a protester. It's like, as a physician, I can't even imagine being put in a position where I'm not allowed to help somebody that's ailing. It's just... From stitches to cancer. Nothing. Nothing. That we have had in our emails, and again, we thank you for the emails, an incredible amount of people asking for our t-shirts. So I wanted to let everyone know that we are going to have t-shirts made. The Apocalyptics gets all of its t-shirts made in Nicaragua. Stay with us. It's going to take about a week or so to get the shirts made, especially because it's very important for both of us that they're made in Nicaragua and they're printed in the United States because we are USA, USA for Nika. Nika. I'm Michael. And I'm Karina. Thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word. Hashtag SOS Nicaragua. And on a personal note, Viva Nicaragua Libre. Roughly translated, it means uh, let a free Nicaragua live. Isn't it great that I have my interpreter here when I decide to go todo espanol? <laughs>